Finding the focus. This is done by hand in manual cameras or automatically in more sophisticated ones. Yet this automatic system is quite slow and never produces a perfect focus. Whereas the human eye is constantly focusing and in a very short space of time. It is sufficient to look at an object to see it clearly. Everything else is automatically carried out by the eye and the brain in the space of less than a tenth of a second. A picture taken by a camera in daylight is quite clear. Yet, if you take a shot somewhere dark, without a powerful flash, you will end up with almost no image at all. Yet you can still see around you perfectly, quite clearly in darkish conditions. Our eyes set themselves according to differing light conditions and intensities. It is the muscles around the pupil that bring this about. These muscles open up in the dark, the pupil expands and more light is allowed to enter the eye. In daylight, on the other hand, the pupil contracts and the amount of light entering the eye decreases. This ensures that the image is always clear. There is no doubt that the eye, with such a sensitive and flawless system, is a great blessing to us from God, our Creator. Indeed, in the Quran, God recommends that we think on this truth and give thanks to Him. Say, it is He who brought you into being and gave you hearing, sight, and hearts. What little thanks you show. Working in the depths of the oceans or the wastes of space poses a considerable risk to divers and astronauts, despite all our high technology. Scientists have therefore started to produce robots to work in these difficult conditions. Robot technology has a new concept on its agenda at the present time. Biomimetic robots, or machines which imitate nature. Scientists think it much better to make robots which imitate living things. For instance, Robots resembling scorpions or ants are made in order to carry out explorations in the desert or resembling fish or lobsters for undersea research. And these are much more successful than other types of robots. It is the flawless body designs of living things in nature that encourage scientists to imitate them. Anthropods are the best moving animals in the world. They are quick. 
Their structure has therefore attracted the attention of scientists, and robot research is taking these creatures as a model. This robot is called Aerial. The robot expert is Ed Williams. Aerial represents the first anthropod or jointed legged robots. It was designed with the crab in mind. It is hoped that Ariel will help scientists in the exploration of unknown regions. Yet there is a great difference between Ariel and real living things. No matter how much Ariel resembles a crab, it even draws the power it needs to move its legs from a previously programmed computer. Its movements are much clumsier than those of a crab. Even the very best robot bears no comparison with a real anthropod. These examples show that enormous efforts need to be put in to imitate just one feature of a living thing. Darwin's theory of evolution, on the other hand, claims that living things emerged with no planning, purely by chance. Yet the more people study the details of nature, the more new proofs of the existence of God are found. In this film, we have seen how nature serves as a source of inspiration for scientists. The structures in nature have been created with such immense perfection that not even man's greatest successes come anywhere near replicating them. This demonstrates the enormous might and knowledge God possesses, the creator of all of nature. Another truth which needs to be understood is that God created everything without any model. This is one of the names of God. The title, El Baadi, in the Quran means, He who creates with no model. In the Quran, our Lord says, He is the originator of the heavens and the earth. How could he have a son when he has no wife? He created all things, and he has knowledge of all things. That is God, your Lord. There is no God but Him, the Creator of everything. So worship Him. He is responsible for everything.